Well, new to the cafe this morning, but said to be a regular contributor, is Martin Cooper, Managing Director of Harcourts Cooper & Co. Martin's been in the real estate business since 1983 and done pretty much everything, including property management and auctioneering. Welcome, Martin. Thank you. Thank you for having us here in the cafe. Lovely to have you here. Now, there's been so much talk recently, well, for quite a while actually, about the unaffordability of owning a home, particularly in Auckland. What are your thoughts on this? Well, the media have got to pick on a story, you know, and they do fuel it up. And I just saw in the Herald yesterday, it's still booming, they're telling us. But the reality is people are buying and selling properties, and it's not as catastrophic as you might think out there. There are still opportunities. But you've got to get, get out and search for them, you know. I guess it's a good topic of conversation for people in that field of, you know, buying and selling homes, because it's easy to understand, I guess, particularly with the house prices in Auckland. I just, you know, found out the other day, they've gone past that million dollar mark. You know, when you started off, did you ever think that house prices in Auckland would average out at a million dollars? No, well, look, 83, I'm getting old. The first house I sold was $34,500. Oh, wow. And I had a big celebration. <laughs> you can't even get yeah. a car park yeah, for that. I know. Now. No, you can't. <laughs> well, see, because a million dollars to me doesn't sound like a very affordable house. Well, a million, but it becomes relevant. I mean, the first, I'm getting that, the first mortgage I got was $47,000. I thought, when will I ever pay it off? You know, it's laughable now to think about that. I was thinking that's going to take me the rest of my life. Right. But um, our brokers now, our average mortgage is $650,000 or $700,000 for young couples buying properties. Fortunately, the interest rates are low. And when you weigh that, paying the mortgage off against renting, it's, it's still viable. So that brings me nicely to the next question. You know, first home buyers, it's about getting on the property ladder. So what should they consider when buying? Well, I notice a lot of young people who want everything now. You know, they want to live in the best suburb now. They want a fast track. That's just the way the world is. But you've got to start somewhere. Another thing, you've got to look at saving. You know, KiwiSaver is an awesome thing to get into when you're young. Put as much money as you can in. And the, the secret of that is locked away. Because a lot of people have saving plans and think, oh, I'll get a new car. I'll get a boat. <laughs> Barley's looking good at this time That's of year. That's the key <laughs> thing. Yeah. So life's about experiences. It's, right. it's about experiences. So you can buy those experiences. But if you want to get a home, you've got to commit to it. And maybe expect to live in a suburb that you might ne necessarily That's... want to live in That's... straight away. So yeah. where in Auckland then are there still suburbs that are affordable for first home buyers? Well, uh, we sell predominantly on the North Shore. I'm noticing Beach Haven is a classic area. It's second-hand housing stock, 30 to 35 years old. People are moving out, buying a new home, they're transitioning. So there, there are some older houses that need refurbishment. We're seeing that whole suburb go through a transition of young families coming in, doing up their homes, the whole streets. So you can shop around, get busy. Apartments is another option to look at, to get on the property ladder. I'm pleased you said that. So basically what you're saying is don't be too fussy. As long as you're on the property ladder and you've made the right decisions, things should make it easier to get into the suburb you want further down the line. Well, don't give up. If right. you're a young person, don't think, oh, it's too hard. And reconcile yourself up. You go to Bali or I'll buy a new car. Stick, set a goal, stick to it and focus in on it. And there's going to be some sacrifices. You know, you can't be going out for dinner. I don't want to ruin all the restaurants in Auckland, <laughs> you know, but you've, you've got to make some sacrifices nice. to get ahead. OK, no, fantastic advice, Martin. It is so nice to have you here on the cafe. We look forward to seeing you more and more, uh, telling us everything you know about the property market.